Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Jerry Ohm Dodge in Tampa, Florida, and look what I have got my hands on. This is the updated, refreshed, changed up 2021 Dodge Durango SRT 392. But before we get into the big V8 all-wheel drive SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. So for 2021, Dodge has decided to make some updates, make some changes to that three-row SUV known as the Durango. Now, what's great about the Durango, there's many different ways you could option it. Now, the biggest news for 2021, of course, was the Durango Hellcat. And if you have not seen that review here on Rady's Rides, I will leave the link to that at the end of this one so you could either see it for the first time or if you want to keep that V8 on throttle action going, you could see it for your second, third, or million time. Now, what's great about the SRT392 is you're going to get a lot of the physical changes that have taken place on the Hellcat and the rest of the lineup, but you're still going to get that great all-wheel drive and the largest displacement engine that Dodge makes, that 6.4 liter V8. One thing is for certain, wait until we get into the interior because they brought some new technology. And what I want to find out is when it comes to not spending and breaking the bank, is the SRT392 really that performance go-getter if you're looking for a mid-size performance SUV? So let's go ahead, let's find out what's different and see is it at the top of its class when it comes to performance. Right off the bat, it's featured in this Vice White. This is actually not white knuckle. It may look like white knuckle on camera, but Vice White has a lot of metallic flake to it. Really pops in the Florida sun. Now, when we start at the front of the business, here's where we get some of the changes right out of the way. They went ahead and changed the headlight design. They actually took the headlight housing and made it a little bit taller, and it really gives it such a different look, a more aggressive look. And you can tell right away when you see one of these, you're like, something's different about that Durango. Headlight design. You're going to have your LED daytime running lamps. You got that projector beam style headlight in there, and everything else is blacked out looking really good, the way that it interlocks nicely with the grill, just like before. And I even like the way they take the flat black here and carry it underneath the headlight housing. Now, as we drop down, you are gonna get your fog lamps and you're gonna get your functional side air intakes. What's wonderful about Dodge, they believe in having functional venting, functional vents and everything. So you're gonna get that on each corner of the new front fascia. Now, as we come across the center section, there's that flat black grill. I like it. It's clean. It's free flowing. You got your SRT badge, street and racing technology. They brought us the Viper. They brought us the Hellcat. They brought us the Demon. And guess what? They bringing us this Durango SRT 392. There's that beautiful sparkly vice white paint. As we drop down a little bit more flat black, and then you're going to get more functionality on the lower grill area and what's great is, is that the lower section matches what's happening up top. I love the way that they just extended the front fascia, gave it a nice splitter style, lip spoiler style that's all blended in so that's going to help scoop air in, give us some downforce because I'm telling you right now if you think that this thing performs in a straight line, it does but it's also going to perform on the twisty bits. I've seen it, I've done it, I lived it. Let's go ahead and get up on the hood. There it is, the bulge that everybody wants. Guys, girls, everybody has a nice rise. You're going to have that functional center intake. I just love the body lines. You know, when you look at the functionality of the hood, it creates a beautiful form. Look at how it just kind of cascades down into the heat extractors. This is functional. One thing I actually noticed this morning as I was driving this vehicle that I have not zonked are these guys right here. I'm not really digging the windshield washer fluid sprayers that are just mounted onto the hood. I think we would both agree that if these were located lower, it would just clean up that whole hood. So I am going to zonk those two guys, but everything else, boy oh boy, super sexy. Now when we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. A little bit different wheel and tire than what you're going to find on the Durango Hellcat, and that kind of makes sense. But you can see we have this 20 inch wheel. I like the nice machined aluminum, almost like hand uh, brushed aluminum finish on there with the way that they have the nice intricate design. Now new for 2021 on all SRT products and everything is you're going to get the actual SRT badging on the calipers. So that's one way that if you look at a Challenger, a Charger or Durango, you know that this is an SRT and it's 2021 
model year. That's a change up that you're gonna find across the board. That's a six piston caliper, nice bright red, pops nicely with the vice white. It's gonna clamp down on that massive rotor and get this large SUV to stop on a dime and give you change. I promise you that. And actually that's in the paperwork that you sign from Mopar is that when you stop, you will get change given to you from Dodge. Now, I love the way they have a nice simple flare on the fender. And I know a lot of you have commented that you would like to see a bigger flare. Put that in the comment section. Dodge is actually listening to you. I would love to see a wide body Durango. And I know many of you would like to see a wide body Durango, but I'm so glad that they painted it all the same color. And then because of our vice white, we have the beautiful bright red 392 badges on the fenders, pops perfectly. And if you're wondering, well, what the heck is 392? Is that the top speed? No, 392 refers to underneath that hood, the 6.4 liter has a 392 cubic inch displacement. Back in the original muscle car days, there was an old adage that said, there's no re replacement for displacement. Well, guess what? A lot of people with turbos and superchargers would argue that, or even nitrous, but that's what that stands for. Color mesh on the mirror caps. You still have the LED lighting built into the actual housing here, a little bit of flat black. As we go down the side, I'm so glad there's no roof rails. This is a performance SUV, right? We don't need to be putting kayaks and bicycles and God knows what else you want to put on top of an SUV. Nice, clean, flat roof all the way to the back. You got a color matching shark fin antenna. I love the strong body line that they kept in the doors and the way that side sill kind of just slides down nicely, gives it a nice flow as you work towards your rear. Now, I almost forgot, all four corners, you're getting that all wheel drive, but you're getting 295 on the width. So 295 on the width, and this is a 45 series sidewall, which is actually pretty good because that's going to give you a nice overall ride. And you can see that we have the four piston Brembo calipers out back with the SRT script. They even give you the SRT center caps to wrap it all off. And then as we get to the rear, what are we working with? You're going to have this nice low roof spoiler. And if you notice, they give you on the SRT that extension that's going to give us more downforce. I wish they would get rid of this wiper on the glass, get that tucked in. I think that would clean it just like on a lot of other SUVs, but you have the Dodge name with the LED taillights. This is the badge that you want to look for that tells you four. You got that all wheel drive with the red from the Dodge logo, Durango looking good. And then as we continue to drop down, we have SRT just to let people know out back if they don't know what's going on, they better not race you because you're going to leave them in the dust. And you have these massive oval cut slash looking great on the exhaust tips and plus Guess what? You can tow with this Durango. So if you have a faster car that you're taking to the track, this would be one heck of a tow vehicle. But why don't we pop the hood, that sexy hood with the bulge, and see what's powering our Durango. All right, guys. Now we do have the hood popped. You can see those functional heat extractors. You have a massive hood strut to hold the hood up underneath the hood. Like I said, Hemi power. The bad news is there's no changes for the SRT Durango when it comes to horsepower, but that may not necessarily be the worst of things in this world because you're still looking at that 392, 6.4 liter V8, 475 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to that ZF Torque Flight eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60. You're gonna launch this thing in about 4.6 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna zoom by at 13.2 at 105 miles an hour. Top speed is drag limited at 155 miles an hour. And remember, all these performance numbers are coming from an SUV that weighs 5,309 pounds. And at the end of the day, I think the biggest news is that you get to tow with this Durango, actually class leading 8,700 pounds. And you got the power getting to the ground with the all wheel drive system. I personally love popping the hood, seeing that flat black intake, the 392 Hemi badging, but you know what? It's one thing to look at this V8. Let's have a little bit of an eargasm and fire it up. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 Durango SRT 392. I know what you're saying to yourself. You're saying, Joe, I'm so glad 
that Dodge has a variety of performance Durangos to choose from. I do like the Durango Hellcat, but I don't need necessarily need 710 horsepower, but I'm really liking the performance out of this one. It's gonna allow me to get my kids to school on time or probably even earlier. Oh wait, hold on one second. Hello? Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, we're filming right now. Oh, I did? Oh, okay. No, not a problem. No, I'm, I'm gonna mention it now. So thank you for calling and uh, listen, I understand rules are the rules, so thanks. All right, bye-bye. So I guess I forgot to mention that was the EPA. I forgot to mention the MPGs when we were talking about the engine. I was trying to keep that on the down low, but MPGs, I have to say it, it's the law. In the city, 13 miles to the gallon. On the highway, 19 miles to the gallon. Now let's get back to our little conversation we were having. So I know you wanna get your kids to school early. How much is this one? The way that this SRT392 is optioned, you're looking at MSRP right at $65,000. Let's see what you're getting for your money. To the door panels. I do love the nice soft touch material up top. There's a little bit of faux carbon fiber. I'm not gonna zonk it because it's not too large of a piece and it actually looks pretty spot on. So I'm, I am liking that touch. I do love the nice soft leather on that armrest. So the armrest is very soft to touch. I'm digging the white contrast stitching. The one thing I am gonna zonk is the small door pocket. For a larger mid-size SUV, that is super small. Maybe two Krispy Kreme donuts. I wouldn't put three in there. You're gonna get glaze everywhere. But you do have a nice bottle holder for a bottle of Yoohoo. And if you're wondering what the heck is Yoohoo, it's a flavored chocolate drink that I highly recommend buying a case and drinking it all in one day. Now, when you get to the dash, soft touch material. I like the way they styled the AC vents. A little bit of gloss black, nothing too crazy. There's a little bit more of that faux carbon fiber trim. Love the soft touch with the stitching. And then look, look what it leads to. The beautiful, all new 10.2 inch infotainment system screen. It's got the new updated Uconnect 5. That means we have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can see the navigation screen is up. If you wanna get into your AC controls, so simple, ventilated seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and I love the way they put helmets on all the different icons because this is a performance muscle car of an SUV. Then my favorite part, of course, is we go into that SRT section. That's where we're gonna have our performance pages, our different drive modes, which is great. Look at how you could go into your different track, sport, snow, tow, because remember, we could tow around 8,700 pounds, and it's real simple. You hit it, then you're ready to rock and roll. It shows the drivetrain, which is nice, and then you go back, there's another favorite of mine, race options. You got launch control, you could adjust where you launch. Just love how simple it is to use, how quick responding it is, and the graphics and everything are spot on the money. So the great news is if you don't like touching the screen to get your AC controls, I got you covered. Watch this. You do have your bright red start stop button. Nice touch. And then here we have all the controls for your AC. So you have your ventilated seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel. There's the, your blower fan switch. You got your radio controls. You got your toggle switches for launch control. Get into the SRT pages go through your performance pages, get all different types of readouts. USB-Cs, two of them, USBs, two of them, and an aux jack. So you have tons of connectivity and a wireless charging pad. And then look at this. You got a section for that race winning Twinkie. After you smoke check somebody and blow their doors off, then you could just sit back and just have a nice treat. Or you know what? When you pull up to the next light, throw it out the window to them and have them take that as a going away consolation gift that you just beat them. I mean, that's the least you could do, right? Two cup holders, which are wonderful. Here's your SRT. I'm so glad they give you the SRT key fob instead of it just saying Dodge. You flip it around, you got the panic button, start the remote start. You can release the tailgate and then of course lock and unlock. Another little area for some breath mints. You know, once you're done smoking the competition, you might have a smoky flavor in your mouth keep a couple breath mints in there. Love the soft touch material. You see the stitch work and everything. It's just, they did a hell of a job. You even have a Twinkie holder on the side here, which is really wonderful. And that's gonna be another easy access. 12 volt for your radar detector. You're gonna want one in here, or you're gonna wanna put some money aside for some speeding tickets. But I do like the height of the armrest. We lift this up, look what we have. Tons of storage for those golden delicious treats. You could easily put I would say about 
18 to 20 Twinkies in here. And guess what? They're felt lined, so you're not gonna scratch your Twinkie. Cream stays inside. Wonderful. Put this bag down, nice and clean. And then look at the seats. Leather, Alcantara with the SRT embroidery. Love the style, nice wide, lots of real estate for all your body parts to be comfortable. And then of course you're gonna get power assist for the passenger and the driver. I guess the one thing that this is really missing, no sunroof, no panoramic sunroof. So I know some of you would wanna zonk that. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a half zonk because I'm not really in love with sunroofs to be honest with you. And then the mirror is not a frameless design. I wish they would have went frameless. It is auto dimming, which is nice, but it would have just been nice to be frameless, be a little bit cleaner. So I am gonna zonk that. But why don't you come over to the business end? Because there's more Twinkies and there's more action where I'm sitting. All right, guys, business time. This is where you wanna be sitting, I'm sure. You do have a beautiful aluminum SRT badge on this aluminum sill panel looking good. I do like that touch. Seat controls, easy to get to. That lower lumbar, adjust the back and everything. And then when it comes to space, remember, I'm six feet tall. You got plenty of space up front. And if you need to put a helmet on while you're on the track, you got plenty of room for that too. Steering wheel, spot on the money. I do like the way they have the SRT badge. My only complaint is I wish they would put a little bit different material here. I'm gonna zonk this, it's a little too plasticky. And then of course, those pesky paddles are on the smaller side. Put the larger ones, look, up, look at my Ram TRX video. On the Ram TRX, they put these beautiful longer metal ones, which allow you to focus on the aspect of driving rather than making sure you hit the paddles if you are shifting manually. And then the dash, I love it. It's got a large digital display in the center. You got your tack, your speedometer, and then you're gonna have an analog speedometer, analog coolant, analog fuel gauge, gives you all the readouts you want. You could go through a whole plethora of information. Plus you have electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel on this SRT Durango. But why don't we get to the mid row and see how your passengers are gonna be enjoying this three row SUV. All right guys, mid row time in the Durango SRT. What's nice is, is that your mid row passengers are gonna get almost replicas of the seats that are up front with the beautiful Alcantara with the leather. Now they are heated, but they're not ventilated. And I'm gonna zonk that because for $65,000, I want my mid row to be ventilated because you know they're gonna be sweating bullets as you're taking them down that quarter mile. You do have a good size uh, captain's chair style armrest, which is wonderful. That's, a, that's the good news. The bad news is, is that the backs of the seats have those pesky cargo nets. Now it is plastic, so this will be easy to clean and they do kind of carve it out so they give you more leg room, but I'll just show you what happens. So say you have that coveted Twinkie and you wanna put it in here. As you can see, it gets all smushed and that's gonna cause all sorts of problems as you're about to eat your, your treat because see, now we kind of just have a mess here. So that's why I don't, that's why it's on cargo nets. I don't like my Twinkie to get squished. But we do have a great little command center. AC vents, two USBs, there's your heated seat buttons, and then you even have a home power source, which is nice. Now when it comes to room here, you have a little bit of a party area where I could put two cup holders. There's two cup holders and a little tray for some Twinkies. Plenty of headroom, plenty of leg room. I feel really comfortable. I'll show you that armrest. Really, really nice. Of course, you gotta be able to recline a little bit and they even give you AC up top, which is a nice touch. But while we go ahead, third row is great. Let's get, excuse me, mid row is great. Let's get to that third row and see how your passenger is gonna feel sitting back there. All right guys, third row time. We got the seat out of the way. It gives you a pretty good amount of real estate to climb on in. Climbing on in is not too big of a deal. And guess what? You know what? I'm actually enjoying this overall. Now, my head is a little close to the headliner and I'll move over to kind of give you an idea how much leg room I have. But remember, I do have this in the recline position. So this seat could go up a little bit more. And you know what? If it's your kid brother and they're not putting the seat up, just give them a little jab in the side. That'll make them put the seat up. And you could always give them two, three, four, however many it takes. Sometimes little brothers do not learn very quickly, but not too bad. You know, it, it would be nice if my knees were a little bit lower, but this is a mid-size. This is not the same size as a Tahoe. I do have AC vents, which are nice back here. And you have cup holders. The only zonk is there's no USB. And the only reason why I'm bringing that up is for $65,000, I want my rear seat passengers to be able to keep their electronic devices charged as well. But you know what? Let's get to the cargo area because I'm jonesing to get some on-throttle action. 
All right, guys, before we get into that cargo area, I know I'm always talking about taking this thing to the track. Well, guess what? You may want to do a little tailgating and what perfect place then right across the street, you could go to Raymond James Stadium and watch the Bucks play. That's what this Durango is all about. But you know what? We're not done playing around with our Durango here. So let's go ahead and open up that cargo area. You hit the button. It's got that nice electric release. Going to lift everything up. And then when we get to the tail end of the business, you are going to have a 12 volt. So if you are tailgating, you do have a power source, which is located right on the passenger side there. And what's also wonderful is that you're going to get storage. So you have 17, about 17 cubic feet of space with that third row up. You get a little bit of a cubby over on the driver's side, and then you lift it up. Look at the wonderful storage. Two boxes of Twinkies. I need to run out and get some more. You could literally put two more, maybe even double that and not even squirt any cream, which is good news. Putting down the third row, what's even better news, it's manual. And I know you may be saying, well, Joe, wouldn't it be better to have electric? Um, no, it's, it's, just so, it's just so simple to fold these seats down. You just pull up and push, pull and push. So when you're looking at the space that we have now with that third row down, we have gone from 17.2 cubic feet of space, you're now looking at 43.3. And if you fold down the mid row, you're looking at 85.1 cubic feet of space. Remember, like I told you, if you have a faster car at home, this would make an excellent tow vehicle. Or if you want to take this to the track, you got plenty of room for all the things that you need. A jack, some jack stands, maybe a, a pop-up to keep you protected from the sun while you're out there at the strip. But why don't we go ahead? If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Got to come over here and push this. Let's take this Durango for some on-throttle action. All right, guys, we left Jerry on Dodge. We're in the 2021 Durango SRT 392. I'm ready for some on-throttle action here. Here we go, on-throttle, yeah! <laughs> wow! I'm telling you right now, this all-wheel drive system gets the power to the ground so effectively. No tire spin whatsoever you have that super size 6.4 liter v8 that hemi underneath the hood it's larger than a hellcat engine when it comes to displacement and like i said there's that old adage there's no replacement for displacement but uh definitely a unique experience that you're not gonna find in a lot of other performance suvs Great braking capability with those massive Brembo's. I love the all new 10.2 inch Uconnect 5 system. Easy to get to, touch screen, the whole nine yards. Plus if you don't wanna to touch the screen, you have like I pointed out all those other controls. It's easy to get a great, perfect seating position. And as you can see, usual Florida drivers just zooming in front of you, but seeing that giant bulge looks amazing you know you got that muscle car power in a mid-size three-row suv and that's what feels really really good adaptive dampers all four corners depending on if you're in track sport snow tow or you can have a custom setup of course we are in track and it is a little bit on the firm side but that just comes to be expected that this thing not only does it go great in a straight line she handles super well in the twisty bits, which is really important for me because you know how much I love those twisty bits. All right, guys, driving around in this Durango SRT 392, you got plenty of torque, nice linear power delivery. I don't know about you, but I need to do another on throttle acceleration here in this beast of an SUV. So here we go. On throttle, yeah! <laughs> shifts from that torque flight eight speed are so precise so just pers just consistent and that's what's great about that transmission is that if you're going to the drag strip the consistency out of this eight speed automatic is just gonna allow you to have those times every single moment that you line up at the at the tree to get that consistency and have that amazing launch. I mean, no tire spin whatsoever. Mind blowing. You know, driving down the highway, there's not a lot of road noise, which is great. I, I think that some of that has to do with a 45 series sidewall rather than having a um, lower sidewall. 
that's going to help with smoothing out the ride and just make everything nice and comfortable and, and like I said I have it in track mode which is obviously the harshest of the suspension settings but still it's totally doable I'm driving around Tampa here and it's totally manageable super smooth man I tell you this thing is ridiculous hot throttle you just you're able to merge into traffic you're able to get to where you need to be and you have the growl of that amazing V8. And then when you wanna just chill, listen, you just chill. You can go into your, your vehicle settings, go into drive modes, put it in comfort, and then you're good to go. All right guys, one more time, I can't resist. On throttle! <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. I hope that this has allowed you to experience what this SRT 392 Durango is all about. We're gonna get back to Jerry Ohm Dodge and wrap this up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a day once again. Mopar, no car, Mopar, or no SUV. You know what? This Durango really bringing that performance, really bringing some new technology. I gotta definitely thank J-Rod and the rest of the crew at Jerry Ohm Dodge for getting us access to their very first 2021 Durango SRT 392. What I love about their lineup is, you know what? Yes, we could all dream, and I definitely advise you dream big, go for the Durango Hellcat, but you know what? This Durango SRT is still bringing so much performance, so much muscle car style, and that new technology, especially with the infotainment system, really checks off so many boxes when it comes to what you're gonna use day in and day out. Plus, you get the on-throttle fun. But if you want to keep seeing performance SUVs, the heck with regular SUVs, if you want to see performance SUVs on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, I promise you, hit that subscribe button. You're going to want to come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. You know what it's all about. Thank you for being part of that Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it a queen of the camera. You know she loves on-throttle action anytime a V8 engine is involved. So show Lori some love in the comment section. Lori, thank you for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.